Assalamu alaikum, peace be upon you, Nihao Ninjas. Today we're gonna do some epic, uh, we're gonna do updated uh, video test gameplays with the latest PPSS PP mode build uh, at maximum graphics, uh, maximum resolution, insane uh, settings, guys. Plus, we're gonna be using cheats for specific games. Watch this video till the end, I'll be showing you the download links and also the settings by the end of this video. And of course, uh, support me by shopping online with my links, smartphones, and game pads, all the, the recommendation list in the description. Let's go, enjoy. Okay, and just welcome back. Assalamu alaikum. We're gonna test Vibe Out Pulse. Uh, yes, this is gonna be very insane. This is one of the most, it was one of the most hardest PSP games to emulate. We're gonna test it right now with the latest build of the PPSS PP emulator on 10x resolution, which is what 5k or 8k or 6k, 6k resolution. 8x is a 4k resolution, while 10x is much higher. Let's go, guys. Let's go. The best settings will be by the end of this video. What is interesting also that this game has also cheats. The download cheats will be in the description link and download PPSSPP mod is in the description and also I'm gonna leave you the link how to uh, enable the cheats remember that I will, I will show you how to do that uh, I mean I will leave the link in the description of that tutorial let's play this game bro let's go wow <laughs> wow man what a graphics what a graphics Amazing man, full speed at 5k resolution, that is not Snapdragon 888, ROG 5. Great graphics, great graphics, wow. This game for sure belongs in the top 20 best graphic games, let's just say for racing, generally, for sure. Top 10, top 10, for sure. Oh, what a miss. Wow, great race, man. That this is, this is really great race. No medal awarded. Okay, single race. I didn't. I didn't pass this campaign mode, man. I had to be faster. Three, two, one. Okay, now I'm better. Woo! Oh, my bad.
Wow. Anyway, let's show you now the settings for the end, uh, the best things and the cheats. Uh, by the way, the cheats itself here, you can see by self infinite turbo, I think so you have. Uh, let me just check it out. Infinite turbo. Well, check this out, it is, infinite turbo is enabled. Oh, that is crazy, so many different cheats. Okay, so now it's time to show you the best settings, the full settings which I'm using right now. So guys, let's go. One, two, one. One, two, three, four, five. OpenGL and Vulkan. Some games will run better with the Vulkan and some games will run better on OpenGL. Remember, the new PSP updates do have improvements with the Vulkan AP. Uh, buffer rendering or skip buffer effects also use play around with some games. Some games does do require buffer rendering enabled on. Simulate block also enabled disabled with some games. Let's go next. Frame skipping only for low end or mid range smartphones, but I hate this option because uh, the gameplay doesn't have a true 30 or 60 FPS because the frames are skipping. Let's go next. So uh, if you want to have a full screen mode, make sure just to go here to the options and stretching option. Remember that, use the stretching option here to stretch it all across this, uh, the screen. Let's go next here. What else we have here? Of course, uh, we have an option. Let me just see. It can make frame rate smoother in games that run at lower frame rates. Remember, enable that. Rendering resolution. Also, if you have a low-end smartphone or mid-range smartphone, go from 2x, 3x, 4x, maximum 5x for mid-range smartphones. For flagships, 5x and above is uh, is good. It's really, really good. Many flagship smartphones can handle 5x, 6x, 7x. Uh, ROG 5, Snapdragon 888 can uh, handle many games at 10x, 9x, 4k resolution. Okay, anyway, let's go next here. What else we have here? So what you can enable lazy texture caging, enable this option and also disable slow for effect. For some games, this works really good, like for Dante's Inferno. But for now, I will not use it. If you want to have a higher, better graphics quality, upscale level to 3x or disable it, guys. You can mem remember, disable this option. If you, you can see by some CPU heavy, some scaling may be delayed to avoid stutter. Let's go next, antistrophic filtering, you can enable it or disable it, depends how you want to have it, texture filtering, enable or use the linear. Uh, I just use it on auto. And very important, hack settings may cause glitches, but obviously lower resolution for effects it reduces artifacts, you can use our aggressive or safe. Uh, let's go next, off, we're gonna off it for now. Audio, leave it as it is. Controls, you can play around. I just disabled here the button's capacity. I don't want to have them on my screen. Network, make sure to disable everything from the network, guys. Disable it, okay? Tools, leave it as it is. And in the system settings, very important, you can enable fast memory or disable it. And also change emulated CPU clock speed to, for example, for Midnight Club 3D, uh, 3D edition, uh, you can play it at 3333, remember that. Remember that. You need to use 333 option. Uh, this option here is really good for that game and it, it requires that and also Revine Snapchat put at 60%, okay? Put it at 60%. Some games maybe will work better. I'm just giving you a small trick uh, from other YouTubers. Big, big thanks to them. So yeah, that's it. Regarding the cheats, you go to the settings, go to the system, go down and find the enable cheats option in the cheats section, enable, disable it, oh, I enable it. And then when you want to go to a special different game, just hold the game or tap it, whatever you want to do and go to the cheats. From here, you're gonna import from cheat DLM and you have now all the cheats. This cheat DB file, you're gonna have the download link under this video. The PPSPP download link of the latest version and also the cheats download link in the description, guys. I do also have a special tutorial how to download a PPSSPP modded version, so please make sure to check it out uh, with the obviously many different uh, features. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great day.